putting the ticker on. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I didn't know that, like, that wasn't my job anymore. I'm so excited. Okay, anyway, so welcome to Fabric Chicks Live at um, four. We did one earlier this morning um, with Sophie standing. If you didn't get a chance to watch that, you might want to go back and uh, and watch it. Um, she is such a delight. She's such a fun person. Um, and she is one of the most talented teachers that I know um, in the textile art um, aspect of quilting. So um, so go back and rewatch that. That was at noon today. Um, all right, let me see. I've got, hi, Victor. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Laura. Um, welcome, everyone. Um, so I do have a couple of announcements real quick. I am going to do a demo on um, on tissue dyeing just because a lot of you have bought the tissue dye. And somebody called me the other day and said, uh, now that she has it, what is she supposed to do with it? Um, so um, I'll get to that in just a second. First, I'm going to um, just tell you that Deb or Roger picked the... Um, the names for the studio. This is our new space for filming. It's a little bit small, but it might help us keep things contained. Um, actually, it's so that we can have the sales stuff like in a room where nobody touches it. Um, the only problem is that you know how women are. As soon as you put it into a room and say, oh, that's only for our online people, then they want to come in and um, and buy off of all the stuff. So that's been kind of a challenge. We might have to put the door back on the room. Um, we took the door off when it was just another room for shopping, but we might have to put the door back on so that people know they can't shop in here until after we get everything um, finished from the sale. Anyways, um, hey Sue, um, hi Queen Bee. Um, so anyhow, thank you for sharing. We love it when you guys share. Hey, Linda, ABC. So Roger has picked um, the three names he likes best for the um, for the name of our new studio area. So um, the three names he picked was Chicks Coop, Fabric Chicks Roost, and Chicks Creative Coop. So, um, so the three people that were part of those names was Carolyn G, Mel Bouchiers, and Peggy Cato. So we've got the panels for them. If you weren't one of those three people, lucky people for the panels, um, you can still get the coffee panel. It was on last week's sale, but it's six dollars if you want it as one one six. So, um, so you guys put in, hey Sherry, um, hey Lynn, are you back from your retreat yet? So you guys type in what name you like best. We've got Chicks Coop, Fabric Chicks Roost, and Chicks Creative Coop. So you guys pick which name you like best for the studio out of those three choices. Um, thanks, Lynn. We're trying to keep it tidy. And actually, it's kind of hard uh, moving from one week's sale to the next week's sale, but that's always been an issue. Anyhow, um, good one, Brenda. I like that. All right, Laura. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys decide. Okay, so I'm going to take the tissue paper um, and I'm going to do a really quick demo on how to use the tissue paper. So what I've done is I found just a simple panel um, and we do have this panel available to you guys. Um, wine is, oh, wine a bit it says. Um, happiness is wine and old friends. So this would be cute to put into a pillow or a pocket on a tote bag. Um, these would be fun to put on the side of your wine bags or something else. I'm sure you guys can think of something creative. Um, so I've already gotten this wet, okay? So it's 100% cotton. I've gotten it wet. And I am, I've got my spray bottle. I know it says best press, but that's because I'm cheap. So um, it actually just has water in it, okay? So I've got my spray bottle with water. I've got my panel that's already wet. So I already took it to the sink, got it wet. And I'm going to take, and remember you cannot have any kind of um, feeling that you're in control with this. So if you're super particular about what goes where, you're going to have to let that go. Because once you put it down, it's going to bleed and it's going to just create its own, its own thing. Okay. 
So I'm gonna put brown here on top of the barrel because I think brown should go there. I'm gonna put brown here where the cork is. I'm gonna put a little bit of my favorite color, pink, right here on the bottle. Maybe, well, pinky purple, whatever color you want it to be. Um, I'm gonna take some green and put it on the leaf part of the grapes, just kind of in the general area. And then I'm gonna make these grapes green, oh, this purple, blue, purple color with a little bit of red because uh, blue and red will make purple. But remember, it's gonna bleed out of control, okay? Or I could just do red grapes. Uh, well, I'm gonna see, I wanna, I wanna see what it happens when we mix it. So I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna put this over this wine bottle here. Look at how cute that wine bottle is. It has a little quilt uh, block on it. So I'm gonna put that red right there. And it's just gonna bleed wherever it bleeds, okay? You cannot control it. Um, hey Mo, you were one of the winners. Um, you already won a coffee panel. And I do have, a, um, I haven't mailed your box, but I need to, but I've just been, I've been a slacker and I've been waiting to see what diamond art I wanna send you next. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna kinda put this blue here. Happiness is wine and old friends. I'm gonna put that just because I don't want it to be so plain, okay? Um, let's see, and you know, we've gotta throw in some more pinky purple. Um, just random, you can see I'm not really doing anything in any kind of order. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, maybe a little bit of orange because, you know, orange will make you happy. And just any kind of shape or form. And then maybe a little bit of yellow because, you know, the more you can, the more you can put on there, the more interesting it's going to be. So I'm just going to take, okay, I've got it laid down there and we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna get pretty close to it because I don't want them to blow away. I did put a um, plastic garbage bag down to make sure that, um, you can see as I'm spraying it, they're blowing. So I'm just gonna pull it back. I'm gonna get them wet and I want that to go over the leaf and the stem. And remember, if you want something to be darker, like say you want the, um, barrel to be really brown and it only turns out a little brown, you can always go back with fabric markers and um, do more. And then here, I want this to be reddish red. Huh. Okay, let me see. I want a little bit more color going on there. You're just giving the illusion of um, it's kind of like tie dye. You don't really have to worry about the colors at all. You could just go crazy and just put colors everywhere. I am kind of excited because I've never tried to mix the colors before. So I'm kind of excited to see how that looks. Okay, so while that, I would typically put this outside. Um, I think it's gonna need more color. Like we don't have enough color going on here. Um, I would typically put it outside and let it dry, but um, it's raining. Like Roger called me during Sophie's interview and told me I had to go home because the roads were flooding. But I told him I would pack up and do the live from home, except for we have really bad internet there. But then it stopped raining. Before he even got here, it stopped raining. So here we are. Hopefully the roads are still open and we can get home to Gracie. I'd hate for her to stay home all alone. Um, okay, let's see. I know it was looking too plain. All right, I gotta do a little bit more because it's still looking like it's gonna have a lot of white space. And you know, I like color. Okay, so this should be, this should be good. You really have no idea what's going to happen. You just have to have faith in the process. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. Um, 
I'm actually going to move it to another room so it can dry. And then I'll show you um, what it looks like on Wednesday, okay? So Wednesday, you'll see this final step of it. Hey, Ann, how are you? Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And then I'm going to show you some in case you haven't seen. Um, okay, in case you haven't seen what the tissue dye ends up looking like, I'm going to show you a few samples. Um, so here's one that we did that says therapy in session. Hey, Christy Lee. Um, and then here, this is one that I just cleaned up um, after at a class. I just cleaned up. So I did some free motion stitching. It was a coloring page. And I just traced it onto here so I could practice my free motion um, quilting. And then I just cleaned up a uh, bunch of people had tissue dye puddles everywhere. So I used this, cleaned it up, and it doesn't look half bad. Um, but you can see I did go in here with some paints and make those a little bit more purpley. Um, and then here's a giraffe that I did the same process where I took a coloring page and traced it. Um, we did this in a Donna Greenwald um, retreat. But so she, um, she had us trace the image and then we stitched around it with a 30 weight thread, black thread to really accentuate it. And then we laid the tissue dye down and this is the effect we got. So that's kind of fun. And then you know, we've shown you these before. So this is a pillow that I um, we just finished, but this is all the tissue dye. And then I did add some hot fix crystals in here. I know, Sue, the giraffe is so cute and it's so easy. Literally, you're just, you just trace a um, coloring page and then go over it with free motion stitching and voila. Um, not only do you get a cute finished project, but you also get um, exercise in free motion quilting. So here's the pillow that we did with the tissue dye. Here's a, uh, uh, another panel, the poppy panel that we did with the tissue dye. So you're going to do it that same exact way that I just showed you. You just randomly lay the tissue dye down, get your background wet, lay the tissue dye down, saturate it, let it dry. And I'll show you the finished um, one that we, sh we did today. I'll show you that on Wednesday. And then here's just one more project that we did with the tissue dye. So it's kind of fun, especially if you've got little kids. Um, it's, it's just a quick, easy project. So those are um, projects that we've done doing that same process. Okay, now I know you guys are really excited about, um, let me see the comments. Um, Carolyn, the effects of the tissue dye are super fun and um, it just lets you not have to think, you don't have to overthink anything, you can just do it. Hey Connie, good to see you. Um, <laughs> Chicks Creative Coop, uh, we definitely cannot fly, Victor. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go back and read all of those and um, see which one is the winner. Um, so Carolyn G, Peggy Cato, and Mo Bouchers all won a panel um, for coming up with the cute name for our new studio space. Um, I do have, in case you didn't get these and you want them, I do have the tissue dye S115 is $7. And if you haven't watched before, um, all you have to do is write down S115, that's you committing to buying it, and then call us with all of your information. So S115, $7. Most of you have the tissue paper, and now you know exactly how to use it. Um, if you want the um, dot, the cat panel, um, S114 is $9.95. If you're happy and you know it, uh, I don't know, I can't read it upside down and backwards. Take a hug, take a nap. Okay, so that's the cat one for you cat lovers. And here is, just to give you an idea of a pattern, how they cut it up and put it into a quilt. So S113 has the panel 
and the pattern. So you, you can make that cute little cat quilt. And you can um, do the tissue dye on it if you want. And then if you uh, want to do the wine one, Peggy Cato, because I know you love the wine one, S07 is 995. I'm not sure. I bet you if you go to her wa uh, website, and it is um, blockpartystudios.com, blockpartystudios.com. I'm sure she has different ideas or different patterns on how to use this wine um, panel. Um, okay, let's see. This one is for dog lovers. Perfection is impossible except in my dog. S112 is $9.95. Hey, Phyllis, how are you? And then S05, I only have one of these that I could find, but it says quilter search engine. If I can't remember where I put it, do I still have to count it as part of my stash? So I only have one of these as far as I know, S05. And that's very similar to the one that I, I did the tissue dye on it, and then I turned it into a cute little wall hanging. So I think, uh, as far as I know, I dug in that um, in that bucket, and I can only find one of the quilters one. Okay. Then we have, um, oh, I meant to bring it down, but I forgot. If you're doing the collage class this um, uh, weekend, this Friday, if you're doing the collage class this Friday, it's just going to be scraps. So you don't really need a supply list, um, whatever your favorite fusible is, and scraps. Um, and then we're going to have a lot of little exercises to do. Um, Phyllis, yes for Wednesday. Um, yes, we would love to see you on Wednesday. I need all the help we can get. Okay, then we have, um, these are all one yard pre-cuts, but I only have like two of this, four of this, uh, this one I know is on the bolt, so I definitely have more of that. I probably only have one of this. So I'm going to show you these real quick. So if you want, this is the time to get stash, um, build your stash, okay? So these would be good to add to something else in your stash if you want to do like a three-yard or a four-yard quilt. Um, they're just good stash builders. So we have, and we've got them marked at seven, but I say we could do six. Okay, so I'm gonna put these here. And so Elise in the corner put how many she could find. So S170 is um, six, wait here, let me do it. $6 a yard. So if you want S170, $6 a yard. S170 is $6 a yard. Here, I'll open it up so you can get more of it. S171, and this is, this is cute fabric, come in. Um, lots of, lots of stuff I've seen in the magazines are using these, um, smaller prints. S171 is, let me hold it up. S171, here, all of them are $6 a yard today, okay, guys? So I know it says seven, but S171 is $6. And then just let me know if you want more than one yard, just put in if you want more than one yard, okay, Linda ABC. Otherwise, if I'll just put give you one. And then 172 is um, $6 a yard. I do have this one on the bolt. I'm almost 99% positive. So 172, $6 a yard. 1750 is a cute little floral, kind of that um, like yellow, but almost a hint of like. Mm, I want to say it's the word starts with a C, cellulon or something. That new, that new yellowy color. S150. Um, okay, and then we have this feels like it's a it's a canvas. Oh, this is pretty cute. Um, you could cut this apart and use it for quilt blocks, or it could just be a main piece. But I have one of these as far as I know. So S. 157, S157, 
six dollars and it looks like i only have one of those um here let me put a pin in that s157 and then i have s158 this we do have a bolt of this s158 let me change it to six dollars so i don't forget what i promised tomorrow s158 is six dollars a yard so these are great to, if you're doing community quilts or if you just need to add something to your stash, S158, $7 a yard. And then you can always go back and rewatch it if you're late to, to tuning in or if you're driving or something crazy. Um, you can always go back and rewatch this. These are limited quantities though. So, um, although this one, oh, I've got five of them, but that one's a pretty one. S145, $6. Okay, S145, $6. Yes, Christy Lee, $6 a yard. Isn't that crazy? Um, because I think fabric, before the before you guys know it, like as in as soon as we can change the prices, um, fabric is really supposed to be like $15 a yard. So S145, $6 a yard. S147, $6. Um, and some of these say that there's only one, but um, we might, um, like some of them I know I have a bolt of. So S143 is $6 also. And then here's a cute one. This one's different. S144. Phyllis is really glad I can see her through the computer. She's really glad she's not here right now um, because it would be crazy trying to keep up with that. Okay, S56 is pears in a pear tree. It's Christmassy, but it like doesn't necessarily have to be. But uh, no, well, it's not really a holly leaf, but... Um, Anyways, let's see, $6. And there is three of those. And then this one, I do think we have a bolt of it, but I could be wrong. S57, S57 is, um, it's from a French chicken, whoops, from a French um, poultry line. So S57. So some of these would be fun to cut out and use for collaging. This one I have never seen before, but it's super cute. It's got different stitches on it. S146. S146. It's kind of like a sampler of stitches. And then let's see. I know this is a crazy... A crazy box, but S60, one yard, it's got cute little green. Oh, I could have used this on a baby quilt that I did this morning. S60 is white with green squares. S74, I know this one is on the bolt. This is that fabulous scroll. I'm not sure how this ended up in this pile. But um, let's see, let's, S74, so I do have more of this. It's a fabulous textured background. It's just got a lot of things going on. There's leaves, there's scrolls. It's kind of like a, a imprinted background, it looks like. Um, S86 is a cute little leaf. Looks kind of like a moda print. There's four of them. S 86 uh, sea foamy green um, background with a peachy leaf. What do you want, Roger? He said I'm on a time frame because he's got a football game tonight. Oh, here, I can scoot back. It's just me here today. Is that better? Okay. All right. So what did you guys think about um, Sophie's interview today? Any of you like, did 
decided you've got to do the workshop. I don't, if you do do the workshop, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, literally, she is one of my favorite teachers. Um, S168 is this fun little triangly. It's, it could be Christmas, but it doesn't have to be Christmas. And then this is kind of a fun modern um, fabric with kind of a, a denim blue circle with a yellow stripe. Oh, don't worry, Mo. You can go back and um, rewatch it. It won't be live, but I know that a lot of you only like to watch it live. Um, but definitely take the time to go rewatch it. Um, oh, Rondi, I know she is fabulous. Okay. Do you have any fabric with fire trucks for a baby? We do not, we do not carry fire trucks because, um, firemen and policemen don't typically like each other. And Roger would be really upset if we had a really, um, cute fireman um fabric i mean fire trucks um because it's really hard to get police fabric because nobody loves a cop except for when they need it and um everybody loves a fireman because they're just coming to rescue you or you know at the grocery store get the um item off the top shelf for you anyhow um so no we don't sorry jenny um but have you guys started watching, what was the name of that show? On Friday nights on Netflix? I don't know, there's this new Fireman show on. It was, the tw it twisted and turned, it was fabulous. So Friday nights, I don't know what, um, what you know, you constantly have to change between Peacock and Hulu and Paramount, I don't know what it was on. But there's this new um, Fireman, Firemen and Women um show on s93 is rocks oops let me let me change that i think some of you guys got this last week but that's the one i would use in the center of sunflowers and i want to say there's a bolt of that but i could be wrong and then s94 is just a good background to have in your stash um, this is another one of this one, so we're not going to show it. But Easter is coming, and this has cute little Easter eggs, but they don't have to be Easter eggs. They could be um, just different, uh, different eggs, different eggs from different mothers. And for the record, I have nothing against firemen. <laughs> just in case your firemen friends are watching. Okay, here's, I think this is like Blue's Clues, but I'm not sure. But it's a cute little um, frog and snail and puppy dog trails. Um, S160 is what Roger's showing you right now. Fire Country on ABC, it's fabulous. Very cute fireman. Yes, Rondi, you are correct. That's what it was. I'm pretty sure, but it wasn't on ABC. Yeah. Okay, so here's another good, um, a good fabric just to have in your stash, S160, $6 a yard. And then here's a fabulous stripe, but I think I only have one, but um, S159 for $6. S159 for $6. Oh my gosh. It's like these things breed at night. I don't know where they come from. Um, okay, S, I hope that I hope at least put these all in order so they'll be easy for us to find tomorrow. Um, this one we've got quite a few of them. S141, great for backgrounds. S141, and then this one I'm almost positive we have on the bolts. I don't know how. So there's definitely more than one of these if you're interested for S140. S140, S140, there's definitely more than one of those. 
S125. It looks like there's five of those. S125. And then S126. This is a cute little heart. I'm so excited. Um, did you guys see the flannel quilt behind me today during Sophie's interview? I pulled it down so I could put it in the car so I don't forget it, so I can put the um, binding on it. Um, well, I've attached the binding already, but I need to hand stitch it down tonight. Um, okay, let's see where we're at here. Um, Mary Beattie wants to know what who's playing and at what time? TCU and Georgia University, the national title game. Okay, here's a cute little um, pink and yellow. It's almost that Celadon again. Um, and it's on ESPN. It might be on one of the regular channels, ABC, CBS or something. So here this is in blue. Oh, gosh, look at it. I didn't even see it. It's got little kangaroos. See the little kangaroos there? I always like it when a pattern has like hidden things. Um, I don't see a kangaroo yet. You don't see a kangaroo right there? Oh. Yes. She's got like a little pouch there. Those are her feet. There's her ears. I think it's a kangaroo. It could be a wallaby or something. Same on the blue. Huh? Um, yeah. Okay, here is a really nice flannel huh i should have put this in the flannel stuff um so this is just a great flannel kind of a cranberry color and then this is a pink one just a plain pink one oh rondi the new fur baby oh oh christy lee don't say that it's playing right now what time did you say we had to be home the game comes on at uh 4 45. oh 4 45. oh are you recording it yes okay thank goodness okay so um anyhow let me let me go through these real quick we're almost done okay i have a bunch of these s101 let me put this little six dollars. So I've got white with brown polka dots, and then I've got brown with white polka dots. So S101 is the white with brown polka dots, and S103 is the um, brown with white polka dots. Um, I was wondering where all my damn bags went the other day because I had no bags for last week's sale. But now I know the mystery has been solved. They have, were all used for these. Okay, S91 is a great green and blue stripe. There's a couple of them. S92 um, is a fun little blue polka dot with a floral. That would be a good one to cut out for collaging. Um, the, so the new fur baby is a handful. She's about, I don't know, 50, 60 pounds. Like literally she, when she stands up on her two back feet, she's taller, as tall as Gracie. Um, S142 is a green with white polka dots. Um, the puppy is chewing everything. She literally chewed the nose off of my bare skin rug. Um, and she chewed up my other throw rug under the coffee table. Um, and she's got a, she now has a fungus on her neck. So they have, um, shaved her neck and Gracie has to put medication on it three times a week. Um, and the medication, it, it was like $342. So Gracie is learning, um, the very expensive way um how to be a dog mommy s137 up here sorry i didn't do six dollars 
Okay, S137 is blue with yellow stripes. Here is a fun Christmas with, um, look at how fun that Christmas and polka dot are together. And we've got a bunch of the Christmas fairies. S138 is $6 a yard. And then S139 is white with persimmon colored polka dots. Um, and let's see. Okay. I know. I told Roger I'd be quick. Um, here's some more fun green ones. These really are great fabrics. Like, I'm having a hard time parting with them for $6, except for that I sometimes do drown in things. S136 is $6 for that fun viney. This would be cute to cut in stripes and use as a border print. Um, and, oh, somebody's got, oh, well, here, I'm pulling this out because we just made that into a, we just made that into a bandana table runner. So you guys can see that as soon as I get the binding on it. Um, S149 is cute little Christmas elves. The most adorable Christmas elves. S148 is an orange. Um, those actually would go cute together. Um, S one oh. 148 is the orange, S149 is the elves, S136 is the cute little um, viney one. Um, literally, I would totally cut that and put that on a collage or something. Okay, so then S107 is kind of a modern one. And as you guys can see behind me, for Wednesday's sale, we have a really fun um, modern -y quilt. And it's companion quilt, which is paper piece that Phyllis finished the top for me. It is actually on the long arm as we speak. Um, S133 is kind of a formally little scroll cream background with a pink mauve scroll feather. And then it's companion on red, S134. All right, Roger, we're almost done. Two more bags. Oh, well, we might be done sooner than we think because my computer just said, uh, battery saver is on. Consider plugging in your computer. Okay. S55 is a great little um, diamond shaped. Uh, ew, this one would be a fun one in the Beth quilt, Christy. If you guys watch Yellowstone, we're getting ready to put together a Beth quilt. Um, a Beth Dutton quilt, not a Beth Watts quilt. Um, I'm super excited about it, but that one would be a fun one. And then let's see, this one is this really pretty persimony color with a black background, S53, S53, S52 has cute little rosebuds and there are several of those. And then S51 is another, interesting design. Oh, it's a little, it's got like a heart pattern and then a little floor, flower kind of in the center. Oops, sorry. And uh, Rondi, we all want that, okay? <laughs> oh, very funny. Uh, Mary Beatty, you totally could make a smaller version of that. Um, well, honestly, if you didn't put the, if you just did the center, it would be a perfect size because that is a very big quilt. Um, and I only, I think we only have one kit left of this one. I'm not even sure. Um, I just was trying to get ahead of myself for Wednesday's sale. Um, okay, here's a fun blue one, S131. 
S131 is blue with the floral viney tossed something. And then the same design with the cream background is S132. Okay, so if you haven't put any numbers next to it, I'm just going to consider that one, okay? So if you want more than one, put a number next to it. All right, these are our last two bags so Roger can get on the road and get to um, his game. S129 is a black background with snowflakes. And S, oops, here, let me put the six so I don't forget tomorrow. S130 is the holly leaves in case you want to start building up. In case you're like Victor and you're starting on your Christmas projects now, S130 would be a great addition to any Christmas stash. And then S127 is a mauvey, dusty, rosy kind of a color um, print. And then a big purple flower here, S128. And it looks like that we're at the end of our bucket. Um, so S128 is the big floral that we have like five yards of those. S127 is the cute little print. And remember when you're doing projects, sometimes you need a small print and a large print so that they offset each other nicely. Um, light color, medium color, dark, you know the drill. Anyhow, that is all that we have for our sale. Um, I want to just let you guys know that Carolyn, Gavernich, Peggy, Kato, and Mobu Shears came up with the um, three names that were Roger's favorite for our studio. So Chicks Coop, Fabric Chicks Roost, Chicks Creative Coop. And I do have, um, each of you have right here, a panel to go in your box. And then we have, if you didn't win and you want the panel, S116. Some of you did get this coffee panel on last week's sale. But just in case you want it again, it's S116 for $6 for the panel. And then let's see, I do have a couple of giveaways. Um, okay, I totally forgot. I know, Roger. I totally forgot to do this one last Wednesday. So if you have a go cut and you don't have a two and a half inch script cutter, just put go cut in there and we'll do a drawing with your names, okay? So Lynn Jenkins, I don't think I don't remember if you said you had the two and a half inch strip cutter. Um, and then we have, Moda is so nice. With every order they send me, they send me a few goodies. So they sent, this time they sent um, this Let It Snow. These are cute little notebooks for you to throw in your purse or wherever. Um, it's got a cute little gnome, so I'm sure Mary Beatty would love it. So let it snow, and it's got a little diamond Swarovski crystal. I don't know how to say it. Okay, so, all right, I've got Carolyn Cavernish. I'm writing your name down. And Brenda's going to hope that somebody wins it that is um, local. Um, hi, Jennifer, welcome. Um, okay, so we are doing a drawing right now for the Go Cut. Um, and then remember that if you're new to watching, anything you win goes in with your packages that we're already shipping. Um, we don't just uh, pack, we don't just send out freebies by themselves um, because we're just too short staff. So we throw them in your, um, all of our regulars who watch us. They have baskets and everything just gets thrown in the baskets and it gets shipped whenever we're shipping out stuff for them. Um, Diana. Okay. And love anything gnomes. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to scroll and see what comment. Okay. I have Linda ABC. Linda ABC is a winner of one of the notebooks. And then I have a second notebook that Moda sent us. So let me scroll again. 
Ryan. I have Ann Lindenmeyer. And Ann, I did get your message about the four black and white back quarters. I haven't had time to go find them, but when I do, I'll take a photo of them and send them to you. And if I have more, um, more than four, I will send it to you to give you options. Um, once, yes, Laura 116 is the coffee panel. Oh, Mary Dee, I hate when the um, screen freezes. Okay, so anybody else who has a go cut, um, the AccuCut go or whatever it is, I don't know. Um, we have one of these. It was donated. Um, it was donated. So um, Ellen won it, but she already has that size, so she doesn't need it. And then Phyllis won it, and she doesn't need it, so she donated it back. So um, it it's a strip cutter for two and a half inch strips two inches finished. So basically it makes a jelly roll for you. Um, so if you have one, if you have one and, okay, I'm gonna put Lynn, where is Lynn Jenkins, Christy Lee? Um, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put Lynn in, Christy, only because you're vouching for her. She should be here herself watching this. Um, okay, so we have another winner for this cute little gingerbread house. Complete fun to do full-size patterns for you to paint on wood. Remember, if you ever win anything and you don't want it, so this is kind of going back to your toll painting days. If you ever win something from us and you don't want it, just comment that you don't want it, and we'll put it back in the drawing. Okay, so I have Mary Beatty. I don't imagine Mary's going to cut the gingerbread shapes, but Mary, if you want it, it's yours. If not, we'll throw it back into the drawing. Um, okay, and then I have Sue Acobe for a hexagon two and a half inch ruler. If you're not going to do hexagons, you can always turn it into a keychain or something. And then I have a cute little triangle. Nifty Notions, uh, well, I'm not sure, but it's a cute little triangle template. Oops. Oh, Lynn Jenkins, I just thought you weren't paying attention. I was just trying to see if you were paying attention. How funny. Um, okay, so then um, for the winner of this, I have Victor. And, um, okay, I'm going to draw for this. Anybody else that wants to be in the drawing, let me know. Um, if you want the, the wood gingerbread house pattern, just type in you want the gingerbread house pattern because Mary's giving it back. Um, okay. Um, sometimes I think, um, Lynn tries to multitask. Here, I'm going to dump these names out. We'll keep those names for Wednesday's drawing. I'm going to put the names in here. Okay, let's see who we got. And I've got Lynn Jenkins. Ah, well, good thing Christy put your name in the drawing. Okay, Lynn Jenkins, let me put this one on here. Okay, Lynn, it's your lucky day. All right, so that's all we have for today, guys. Um, wait, the gingerbread house. The very first person for the gingerbread house was Linda ABC. Linda ABC. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, if you're new to watching, we do this again on Wednesday at four o'clock. It'll be a much larger scale of a sale. We'll have about 150 items. We go from four to six. We have drawings throughout and um, kits, patterns, uh, notions, all kinds of fun stuff. So join us on Wednesday at four o'clock. Have a great day. See you guys later. Bye.